She going live. She going live. How y'all doing? Welcome, welcome. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Welcome to the folks who are joining us on the live stream. I am Aramis, the artist. Let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Like, I just need this moment to acknowledge the queen, okay? Because I need, like, hold on. History was made last night. If it's not clear, she is a clear member of the Beehive, all right? And history was made by a Black woman during Black History Month. Like, can it just be, it just can't be more poetic than that, okay? So let's just acknowledge the Queen Bee because it's definitely a renaissance, okay? And it's a renaissance of the arts. Y'all, I'm super happy to be here with y'all. Let's talk about it. I see we got five folks here with me. Let's introduce yourself in the chat. Let me see who's here. Um, let me get a thumbs up or a something in the chat that y'all can hear me. Let's talk about what we're doing today. So while, while I let y'all um, introduce yourself, one, let me know if you are an artist or if you are an art supporter, art lover, art collector. Okay, we got Tam in the house. Dr. Kaylee, is it Cal? Kaylin? Kaylin. Hey, hey. Okay, you also mentioned you was planning one of these after doing the video on the artist cult. Okay, looking forward to seeing my take on artist communities online. Um, you know, I think artist communities are so incredible. I feel like the word cult has a little bit of a negative connotation, but we can, we can, we can definitely unpack that. Okay, so y'all, I am celebrating officially two years being on YouTube, and it has truly been one of my one of my favorite platforms to date. Okay, if you are probably can't tell, I love I love community building and I also love social media. Now, I know this is an unpopular opinion because people feel how they feel about social media. I feel like I'm an alien. Okay, I feel like I feel like I was here at a different time in life. Like maybe in the in the 1800s, may, maybe 400 BC, I don't know. And like I came back to planet Earth, and like the internet was here, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> like, wait, you mean I could just like live stream to people all over the world, and people can hear me and watch me right now? And like the idea of gatekeepers is continuously decreasing and decreasing. Like now, now I have access to share my story with the world. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, please. And I will use all the tools that's available to me. And I really want to encourage and inspire other artists out there to really take advantage of these tools. It's so great seeing y'all. Okay. Yes, Spirit Heart Song. Tam is in the house. Kanice. First of all, shout out to, to Kanice. Okay. Kanice is one of the new uh, patrons. And she's also going to be one of the artists that I'm talking about today. We got Keisha who is here. We got Nalisha who is here. Yes, Nalisha's here. Pamela's here. Yes. Look, all my patrons are in the house. I love seeing y'all. We can hear you perfect. And Mariah is here too. Yes, shout out to Mariah and Alicia. Look, y'all y'all, all here, okay? Gang, gang is all here. And so really my goal um, with this live stream today was, of course, one, do do creator shout outs, okay? Two, do a live Q&A. So here are, the, here are the two aspects that's in my mind. Since I have been on YouTube for two years, I feel like one thing that I know that if I just keep on this journey, I know that my community is going to inevitably grow, right? And so I'm thinking to myself, already having the end in mind, let's say we have 100,000 subscribers. I'm like, when I, when I get there, what do I want to have accomplished? I don't want to just have that number that's says 100K or that like silver plaque. I literally want to have a community of artists who, who understand that we are now living in a time where you can thrive and where art is just such a powerful, just like such a powerful tool in our life for healing, transfer, transformation, like all the things. And so I was like, okay, on this journey of growing this, this YouTube channel, let's not forget to actually build the community that's helping make this possible. So Yes, we are doing that here. And the people that I definitely want to prior prioritize on this stream um, are my patrons. Okay, so uh, yeah, okay, we got Danielle in the house. Hey, Danielle, so good to see you as well. Yes, yes, okay, yes, Spirit Heart Songs was saying uh, they feel the same way. It gives creator, oh, I can show it on the screen. I keep forgetting that, y'all. Um, if we do have some other artists and YouTubers here, y'all, I use StreamYard, and I learned about StreamYard from uh, Think Media. So I love Sh Sean Cannell. Let me know if y'all watch Think Media, okay? Like, I've learned all of my tools about everything from YouTube, and Think Media has definitely been a huge uh, tool for me. Uh, we got Jobina is in the house. Hey, Jobina, welcome, welcome. 
you at work. Okay, look, I feel you, boo. You like, that's all right. Have me in the background, you know, just how the volume low. You know, I can get a little loud, you know. Um, yes, and, and Alicia was saying, congrats on my YouTube anniversary. Thank you. I'm an art lover for life. Yes. And in every afterlife, right? For real. It is so real here. Awesome. Okay, y'all, let's dive in. All right. Because I want to take a moment to make sure that I don't forget the people who are here making it possible for me. And those are my patrons. So for people who don't know, I do have a Patreon. And pretty much I have three tiers set up where the first one is pretty much that that like that like support tier, right? It's it's four dollars. I share like behind the scenes stuff. The thing is, y'all, here here's a moment. Here's a moment to to like to speak some truth and to also speak some tips. Um, I know a lot of people feel a lot of different ways about Patreon. I personally love Patreon, and I've been on it for about three years at this point. Now, I think Patreon is truly what you make it, and it is a platform that you get to customize. So I feel like over these years, I have learned what I'm able to do. And I feel like where people can kind of maybe use Patreon wrong, especially for, for new artists, they can give so much, like there's so many freebies, there's so much, so much, so much, where now they become overwhelmed and, and now they're shipping out perks. They're like doing all this stuff where they're literally made a second job for, for themselves. That's what I did to tell you the truth, okay? If you all have been following the vlogs, then you probably know that I have uh, made some changes. And the thing that was most powerful for me and was so affirming for my journey is that I just want to let artists know that there are true art lovers and supporters out here who genuinely just want to support artists and to contribute to their expansion. And like half of the time, half of the time, people don't even want like anything in exchange. Of course, but like, of course, as artists, as givers, as lovers, like we definitely want to want to share. And I definitely think that it should be this value exchange. But I've just learned like, y'all, I will take like a day editing a behind the scenes video for my like 100, 100 plus patrons and it'll have like three views, you know? And I've just like, let it go. You know, I'm like, the people who want to see the videos will will watch the videos, but primarily the people who are there just genuinely want to support what I'm doing. And I so appreciate that. So I want to contribute to um, what they are doing as well. Okay, so these are the people who have been on the journey with me. Here's a note though, okay? I don't want to make it like, for people who join my Patreon, they're going to get shout outs. That's, that's not what this is. And like, I don't even want that to be the language. And I don't want that to be um, some sort of like marketing thing. No, y'all, this, this is something that I, I like genuinely want to do. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it again. So do not join my Patreon. If you think you're going to be shouted out, because that's not what this is. You know, this is literally just something that was on my heart. Um, and also we are growing a directory on my website. So literally, this is also me getting y'all in touch with the folks um, who are a part of Patreon community. So when holiday season do come and you like, man, like I've been trying to find other artists and stuff, you can literally go to my website and um, and find this full this full directory of other creators. I'll show y'all that a little bit a little bit later. But for now, let me dive into some of the creators. First of all, y'all, I got hella screens going on. So I'm going to be looking around a lot. Okay. I wonder if Jessica is here yet. Um, Jessica, if you are here, let me know. If not, no worries. I was letting y'all know if you can't make the live stream, that's totally fine. Um, but I do want to acknowledge Jessica when she submitted her info to be a part of this. So for the for the patrons who are here, um, Def tune in. Hey, Shay, good to see you. Okay, so for the folks um, who are part of my Patreon and was like, girl, I missed this. Like, wait a minute, like, what is this? Um, I submitted a form for you all to fill out um, in Patreon. And so the people who filled out that form and like gave me permission and consent <laughs> to share their social medias, to share their different platforms, to share their website, those are the people who I in included in this. Okay, so um, patron, if you haven't been a part of that, I'm so sorry. Okay, just make sure y'all are opening up the Patreon stuff so that y'all can get access to all the things that I am giving to you over there. Okay, so the people who I'm sharing today are the people who one have given me permission to share their information and completed the form that was submitted um, maybe about a week ago on Patreon. Okay, so the people, the first person that I'm, that I'm going to start with is um, Jessica. Let me let me try to share my screen y'all know i be i be figuring it out i be figuring it out okay 
Jessica literally like just submitted her info um, the other day and she was saying that it really worked out in perfect timing because she recently just published a book, y'all. So this is Jessica's work. Can we talk about the divine femininity and the divine wisdom that is in her work? Oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all, I'm loving the color palette. I'm loving the energy. I'm I'm loving the cosmic connection to the ultimate source. So y'all, definitely check out Jessica's work. This is her Instagram over here. But what she was really excited to share with the group is a book. So her and her friend just recently um, published a book that is now available on Amazon. It's about poetry and all sorts of good stuff. Let me pull it up for you all so that you all can see it. Um, so dope. And like, this was such, this was so fun for me to like creep on y'all and like see what y'all up to. I was like, okay, like look at my patrons getting it. Y'all better get it. Okay. Y'all better get it. Um, okay. We are heading to Amazon because her book is now available. You all the divine wisdom of the soul volume one. Yes. Yeah, so she's saying, if you seeking to understand this journey that we call life, this is literally a book that's going to help you on that journey. So she has done the illustration for it. She actually co-wrote it with her friend. So I want to make sure that we give her friend credit as well. Here are the authors up here. So um, yeah, she contribute to the illustrations over there. So make sure y'all check out Jessica's work. And I really want to acknowledge um, Jessica because she was literally my very first patron ever, 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 ever. Okay. And so, and like, I have a, spe there's a special place in my heart for people who see the vision before, before the bricks are even laid, you know, and I know for people who are thinking about starting a Patreon and you like, oh, you know what I mean? And like, sometimes we feel like we have to have all these things laid out before, before it even comes to fruition. The people who genuinely want to support you and like rock with you have already been seeing your entire track record of what you've been building and creating. Now, I don't encourage people to start a Patreon if they can kind of like just starting out like boo build up your portfolio like like build, build up your work build up your channel like build up things for you for yourself so that people know that like you for real out here you you are for real artists you aren't playing and you already have a track record of of contributing your artwork to the world and i feel like when jessica joined my community and patreon even though i literally had i barely had any posts any videos any anything she already saw me as having a track record of somebody on instagram who was sharing her art i was doing art shows doing murals public speaking like the whole nine you know what i mean so Super duper special shout out to Jessica. Um, yes, she's here. Yes, yes, yes. You were, you were, <laughs> you absolutely were. And like, it's just like, yeah, yeah. You, you truly were my, were my first patron. I don't think that I, I've, I've actually ever told you that. So yes, you were my face, my first patron, and I truly do appreciate that. So glad you're here too and is able to um share in this live stream with us, y'all. And I definitely encourage y'all to like chat in the box as well. We got Mariah, Jessica letting you know, congrats. We got Nalisha saying congrats. So yes, y'all, I'm loving this community. Definitely show Jessica some love on her new book that came out. Danielle is saying congrats to you as well. So that is, that is so incredible. Okay. Let me see if I can do this where I can like share the screen, but um, maybe kind of have my have my face up there too. Um, let's talk about Leah. All right, next up, y'all. Okay, okay, there we go, y'all. Look, be be kind with me. True, we figuring it out. We figuring it out. One day at a time, y'all. Jessica is letting y'all know she's saying thank you. She truly appreciates the love there. Okay. All right, so we got Leah in the house. Okay, Leah, I was clicking around on some videos. I hope that I'm saying it right. It's probably Leah or Leia. Let me know if you're here and I wanna make sure that I'm pronouncing it right. But um, Leah makes noise, you all. Look, one of her first videos that she talked about is that she quit her job as the art director uh, for this company. So she is pursuing her journey of being a full-time artist and she is starting her, her YouTube journey right now at the recording of this video. She is at 444 subscribers. Oh my God. 
like, okay, y'all, like I remember when I was under a hundred thousand subscribers and like, it blows my mind now to know that there's over 7,000 of us. First of all, like when I had 400 subscribers, that seemed like so many to me, you know, and like, it truly is. So I'm super excited for Leah. So y'all, if y'all want to, um, you know, if y'all watch as much YouTube as I do, let me know. Let me know. Do y'all watch YouTube as much as I do? I don't even have TV, y'all. Like, we watch the Fire Stick. So we do, like, Netflix, pretty much all the streaming platforms. YouTube, uh, Netflix, HBO Max. So YouTube is like my TV. So if y'all watch as much YouTube as I do, then you are probably always looking for new uh, dope artists to follow. And especially Black women artists. Y'all, can we have a conversation about how there needs to be more Black women on YouTube outside of the sort of, like, beauty space? Don't get me wrong, y'all. Like, I love watching beauty videos. But I feel like there's an opportunity for more for more Black women artists. And I'm putting y'all on, okay? I'm putting y'all on because Leah is here. She's starting her channel. She just uploaded a video four weeks ago talking about her first year as a self-employed artist and creator. So if y'all are trying to become full-time creators, she's sharing her journey. She's sharing her art. Let's check out some of her other videos. First of all, I, I love this banner, okay? Can we talk about the banner art, illustration, design, directing, lifestyle. And I think she is including a nice range of things so that she can expand and like branch out, you know? So this is, this is awesome. Um, there was another video that she had. Okay. Turning 30. Yes. Like, let's also talk about the gang gang over 30. Okay. I feel like I'll be watching the vloggers who's like 23 and stuff like who, who don't have real responsibilities. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna need some vloggers out here who got a mortgage, who over 30, who have a husband, who got kids, you know what I mean? Somebody who I can full, full blown relate to. Okay. So Leah is here. She, she just turned 30. Look, happy, happy late, happy late birthday. Wait, no, maybe your birthday is coming up, Leah. I saw one in one of your videos. Use the Libra. Okay. Use the Libra. So here she is. She quit her job as an art director. Um, Y'all. So definitely check out her channel, sketchbook tour. She is Leah makes noise on um, YouTube. Here's the thing, y'all, about, about subscribing to people's channel. Don't subscribe to people's channel if you aren't going to watch their videos, okay? Because nothing is worse is having like, I mean, they they say the term dead subscribers. We don't want to use that term, but pretty much it's, it's not helpful to have a community that's not engaged, you know? So this isn't a thing to like follow for a followed, no, okay? If, if you genuinely like the people that I'm sharing, uh, then of course subscribe and also like engage with the, in, engage with the comments. Y'all, I comment on people all the time. I feel like I need a troll account, okay? <laughs> like, no, no, that's terrible. But I feel like I'm just constantly commenting on other people's video and like a lot of people find me from me commenting on, on other people's videos. But I feel like people have this thing like, I just want to be a quiet lurker in the back. Look, make make your stance known, okay? Make your stance known. And also, I'm going to let y'all know, as creators, especially when, when you're smaller, you remember every single name that's commented on your channel. You remember every single little avatar. Now, as it gets bigger, it gets harder to keep up with people. But y'all, now is the time. Now is the time when, when, can, when creators are small, it's really a time um to to hang out and to really connect with them um da -da -da -da. yeah okay we got great hey grace by grace good to see you uh, definitely watch the okay shay yeah i'm the same way i always get excited when i find a dope channel yes yeah, so leah is definitely a dope channel to check out perfect jessica says she's gonna check her out um receive that prompt to get consistent with youtube okay then yeah look it's for real especially for you being being like a poet and a writer um, y'all actually Danielle is here. She's a multidisciplinary artist. She's also a patron and she's also another creator who submitted her info for, um, to be shouted out today. So let's look per perfect time in Danielle. Let's hop on over there to, um, to Danielle's Instagram. Let me see. First of all, y'all, I got too many screens. It's fine. Girl, relax. Just put it on the screen. Make, <laughs> make, make a do what a do. Um, okay. This was also Leah's Instagram too. Okay. Just making sure here's her Instagram. Y'all, you can see more of her work here. Yeah. And what she's been up to. So it's the same as her, um, YouTube channel. I love that. I love when people have like it all the same and consistent. So definitely check out her channel and check her out on YouTube as well. 
I mean Instagram. Okay, going over here to Danielle. Y'all, Danielle is a poet, all right? And she is over there on the East Coast, right? Is it New York, DMV? Let us know, Danielle, in the comments um, what area and part of town that you are at. Y'all, she is a maker, a muralist, and an acrylic painter. Look, I love vibing out with Danielle in the Create Dates, okay? If you all didn't know, I hang out with my Nebula and Supernova tier every single month via Zoom where we chat, we connect, vibe out. And I feel like every time Danielle come with these glasses, she'll have red glasses on. She'll have like all different sort of different glasses. So it's so cool having her uh, in the Create Dates. And I'm so happy to share her work, y'all. So definitely check her out. Follow her on Instagram. She's really doing doing some big things. And um, and now I hear Danielle, you say you're gonna start to pick back up on YouTube. Is that is that what you're doing? Let me head back over to StreamYard so I can see if you're um over here in the in the chat. Yeah, Kanisa saying that Leah's work is awesome. Great, great. Okay, yes, okay, y'all. So Danielle is letting us know that she is in uh Troy, New York. It's in the capital region. Okay, yes. And I think that this is perfect, especially for so many creators. Like, we all over, you know what I mean? And so it's like, if you in New York and want to connect with some artists, if you in Houston, and y'all know that I'm in Seattle, Washington. So if you ever in the Pacific Northwest, you know, I have my different art shows and stuff. So um, definitely come on out to that. Oh, wait, let me make sure that I have Danielle stuff up. I think I have... Is this, let me go on back. First of all, it's it's all the tabs. <laughs> that's, the, that's the problem. It's all the tabs. Okay, Danielle. And we're going to share you over here. And let's get it. Let's get it. There we go, your Instagram. Okay, are y'all able to see that? I should probably check, make sure y'all can see my screen. Okay, yeah, yeah, y'all can see my screen. Awesome. Okay, so Danielle says, yes, I love statement frames. Okay, yes, <laughs> for real. And yes, definitely going to do more YouTube this year. Sometimes the universe has to remind you. It's real. It's real. I feel it, you know, and um, I think that those reminders are helpful. It's just like another affirmation, like, yes, do it, do it, you know? And what's so dope, and like, here's a little tip for people starting out on YouTube. Uh, New York is one of the highly searched locations in YouTube. So y'all probably see like New York vlogs, like it's, it's, it's the two, actually three. It's LA, New York, and Paris, okay? Those are the three locations that's like really popping off um, on YouTube. So it's like, if you in New York, Danielle, like even just showing like a day in the life of a, of a New York poet, you know what I mean? Like, I would love to see that. Like, I'm literally on the opposite side of the country. So even like seeing what's going on over there, like seeing if it's snowing, y'all know I'm from Chicago, but I love the snow, but I'm glad I don't have to shovel out my car no more, but it'd be nice to see it on YouTube, you know, see, you know, to see, to see Danielle, you know, shoveling out the car as you on the way to do like a live spoken word poetry event, you know, let us know. Here we go. Sharing some tips and sharing some keys. Y'all definitely check out Danielle over there on Instagram. Um, and yeah, it looks like she's going to be doing some stuff as well on YouTube. Danielle, you also shared your website too. You were saying that I could do either. So let's, um, let's browse your website too, because I feel like what's really nice is for people to actually know how they can have an energy exchange with you. You know what I mean? It's like, cool, great. We can we can definitely like, we can definitely follow, but is there an opportunity for us to, you know, contribute to, to what you're doing? Okay, you got a Patreon. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, Danielle was here. Y'all, she got her podcast. She has her three-day virtual retreat. Um, you can get on her email list. You can join her Patreon and the, the YouTube channel. So let me head on to her channel so y'all can see her name over there. Um, yes, y'all, D Collins. Okay, she's coming back. Look, she, she said it. She said it here. She said she's coming back. <laughs> yes, 365-day journey. Uh, let's hover over that. Let's see. Becoming a full-time artist. Yes, girl. Okay, I just love y'all. Like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the black girl magic over here. Oh, my God. Y'all, yes. Definitely give Danielle some love. Let her know um, what, what city that y'all are in, too. Is there anybody in New York that's near her, you know, do we got anybody in Jersey? Like where y'all at? I'm curious to see what y'all up to. 
um, Spirit Hearts song is a Gemini. Okay, hey, hey. One, one K tabs forever. Okay, you say, are you are you on the journey to get to one K? Let me know. Let me know. Spirit Heart songs. Yes, I love you on on YouTube. You got quite a few channels. <laughs> I, I think I'm subscribed to like maybe two or three of them. I know y'all check out Spirit Heart songs too. She got like a tarot channel, a locks for hair, um, singing, day in the life, like all the things, all the things. Yes, y'all. Okay, Jersey's in the house. Yes, y'all. Shay is in Jersey. So then, yeah, I know like New York and Jersey is just like literally across the bridge. You know what I mean? So, um, yes, your Gemini was coming out with the one gay tabs. Okay, no, y'all feel it, right? That's literally, look, Gemini, I have a thousand tabs going on at, at all times, y'all, at all times. Okay, you, okay, you condense them. Good, good, good. We're going to have to have a whole... A whole talk about that. Uh, y'all, we got Louise just joined the chat. Um, is it is it Louise? I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Uh, congrats. Okay, you said you in Scotland. All right. Yes, you've been trying to get your art channel.
Testing, testing, testing. Can y'all see me? <laughs> Can y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? Let's check in on it. Let's check in on it. Hey, she back. Mm, mm. She back. Y'all, look, speak, speak, speak protection over the live stream. And it's already done. Okay. <laughs> look, that has never happened. It's like, really, like, really? Come on, internet. It's all right, though. It's all right. You know, we're going we gonna to make it work. Um, Y'all, just know that I am streaming with StreamYard. And like, one of the really nice things about this is that it like holds the live stream open until you're able to get back connected. So it's like, I wasn't even stressing. I was like, look. We're about to get back connected. But just know if that does happen again, just hang tight. I'm going to get it back reconnected and we will continue with the live stream. Okay, so cool. Whew, yeah, almost almost didn't make it. Okay, so yes, Louise was telling us um, that they're working on getting a thousand subscribers and it's been a journey. Yeah, it took it took a minute. It definitely it definitely took a minute, you know, but really it's about that. It's about that consistency, y'all. And it's like, I know we hear it a thousand times. I know, I know, I know, but it's so true. It's it's truly, it's really true. Um, so y'all just finishing off with Danielle, make sure that y'all check out um Check out her work. See what she's up to. Let me get you back over here. Um, definitely join her over there on YouTube because she's saying that she about to, she about to get it popping. She about to get it popping. So that would be so great. And I'm sure she would love it if you all joined the journey with her. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Y'all, I love that everybody's on the journey to... Um, becoming a, a full-time artist. I'm going to tell you this. It ain't, it ain't for the week. <laughs> it is, it is not for the week. It is definitely a journey. Um, and also y'all, while I'm pulling up some of these tabs, drop some questions in the chat. Like, let me know. Uh, I think some, one of the things I said to the Patreon community about this live stream is that we're going to talk about social media, marketing, YouTube. Um, I, I get quite a few questions about that stuff on my channel. And I feel like instead of me making a full video about it, let me just just kind of do it now. You know what I mean? Like, let's kind of dive into some of the dive into some of the stuff. So if you have any questions about that, then I would love to um, answer any of those. Yes, yeah, Shay, look, Danielle was saying that your banner is everything. Yes. Okay. I'm going to pull up our next our next person. And we got Nalisha in the house. Nalisha, are you still here with us? Y'all. Okay. You all are familiar with Nalisha because she has been on the journey with me. Y'all probably saw her in the vlogs. Nalisha um, was my studio assistant. She has been a supporter and a patron for the longest. And she is also an artist as well. So let me let me share Nalisha's work. This is her website. Oh my God, y'all. Like I'm just like such a fan of her work. Oh my God. So um Nalisha works with ink, pen, um, watercolors. I think a little bit of acrylics as well, too, right, Nalisha? Um, and definitely join us in the chat, you know, like let us know even more about your work, y'all. But like Nalisha is has always been such an artist supporter and okay, yes, you're here. Okay, great. Yes. Um, a true like artist supporter and advocate. And I feel like I'm gonna tell y'all this. I feel like the most the most supportive people of the arts are artists, you know, because like we genuinely know how how long it takes to do this work, how difficult the work is, you know, and like with Nalisha's work, she truly takes the time to uh, like draw every single line, like, like y'all, her line work is just crazy. Like, look at all the detail that's in here. It's just truly exceptional, very clean, very aesthetic, very, like very tuned and tapped in too as well. And that's what I, I love about y'all is that y'all be on the same wavelength as me, you know, like just, just connected to spirit and connected to source. And like, when I see artwork like this, it truly touches my soul, y'all. So uh, she also does murals as well. Um, she's been diving into doing murals and chalk murals. She actually has one up downtown uh, in Seattle at the Amazon building, a chalk mural, which has been really great. 
Uh, she's been working with a variety of mediums of, for over 25 years. Look, she got her shop going, y'all. And like, I'm on Nalisha's newsletter. She sends out newsletters, okay? So look, get on her email newsletter if you would like to um, get her work and be a part of what she's doing. She's also making greeting cards. This is so beautiful. Oh my God, like she's painting. Is this actually on wood, Nalisha? Let me know. Look, let's click around. <laughs> This is great. It's 13 by 11 and it's shipped in a recycling box. See, and like she's also eco-friendly as well. Yeah, so this is, it's hand-drawn on, on a wood board. Absolutely stunning, y'all. This is an original piece of art. Like this is truly incredible. So definitely check out, check out, um, oh, she also has puzzles too, y'all. She did like, does like handmade, handmade puzzles. Okay. The computer is going a little slow. Let me tap in to see if y'all can still see me. Y'all can still see me over here. Natural wood. Yes, yes. Okay, she was letting us know it's natural wood block. It's fun to create with nature. Absolutely. Man, Alicia, you know I just love your work. I'm just like such a fan. Such a fan. Y'all also follow her on... Um... Oh, I'm sharing this. Okay, let's go here. Share this tab. Okay, so let's go here share this tab great let me see if y'all can see her instagram yes okay we're on the instagram okay yes this is her instagram page y'all uh go ahead on over now of course the same way don't be following people if y'all not gonna like like y'all some people just be following i'm like i'm gonna need people to engage okay <laughs> especially on the gram okay the gram has just been like it has the energy has definitely been flat over there but i think at least you have a tick a tick tock as well too right um do, do, do I believe you do? I don't, I don't think you put it in the form, and that's totally fine. How y'all feel about TikTok? Like, let me know. <laughs> what what are, what are y'all thoughts on the talk? There's some other artists in here joining their um trying to share their work on TikTok. So yeah, this look y'all look. This is what she's doing. Like each dot, each line. It's not a game. It's for real. Definitely check out her work. Oh, this was the, uh, this is one of the chalk murals that she did. Oh, yes. Me and Andy was up there the other day and we snapped uh, a pic. Did I send it to you, Nalisha? Let me know. I got to send it to you. But yeah, y'all definitely check out her work. Check out her Instagram. And y'all, you know, I'm going to link everybody's info below. But also this video is going to stay up on my channel. So um, if you, if you can't write down everybody's name right now. That's totally fine. And Alicia is also, I wanted to mention um, that she is starting a directory for local artists as well because she's working with the city, working um, with the artists of Fremont. So if it's like, especially if you are a Seattle artist, Alicia is definitely somebody to connect with. Um, okay, you said you're doing TikTok just for time last videos. I feel that, yeah, yeah. I've kind of just been like repurposing some of my YouTube like intros on TikTok. I just can't, like, get over yourself, Aramis. Do the work. Do the work. Like, when, whenever I get in my little mode, I'm like, girl, do the work. Just stop it. Just don't overthink it. Just do it, you know? Um, cool. Spirit says, uh, I think TikTok is a powerful platform, and it has a very strong new age spiritual community. Very true. Like, whenever I'm on TikTok, like, all of my, it's like, it's straight spiritual TikTok. Some of it, some of it didn't be doing the most, you know? It's like, sis. What are we doing? Like, like, like some of the pe rituals people are doing, y'all. Like when it comes down for me with spirituality, it's it, it's all about the intention. You know what I mean? It's it's all about the intention. It's all about the mindset. And I feel like half of these people got a whole chest or drawer of crystals, but like they whole spirit being is not in alignment. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like some of it just gets super performative, but. You're right, spirit. Like TikTok is fun, definitely for the for the new age spiritual community. Um, it's just about having a balance, you know. It's not like balancing it out because they be doing the most. Um, Kanice was saying that she hasn't moved. You haven't made your way over to TikTok yet, but I hear it's great for artists. Yeah, totally, totally. I have been hearing that as well. Um, it's really good for like for singers and like music artists. I feel like I find new art. Like whenever I'm looking to find new music, I do go to TikTok, you know. And like, oh, and then Spirit was talking about the new age spiritual community. I go like some of those girls who make those sort of like affirmation music songs. I find them on TikTok, and then I go on Spotify and you know, like find them on Spotify and add those like TikTok songs to my high vibe uh, playlist. So I have like this 
spiritual high vibe playlist that I listen to every morning. Um, yeah. So I think it's definitely great for artists. Um, yes. Hey, Joe Bina, welcome back. Yeah, no, not much. I actually had the live had messed up, but now we back. And so now we're talking about TikTok. We're seeing if there's other artists who are on TikTok um, and seeing how it's been good for you. Uh, Shay was saying that TikTok for me, question mark. Oh, you see, <laughs> you look, put the down emoji. But I think it is definitely useful to get yourself out there to many people fast. But it's no YouTube, just saying. I feel that, you know what I mean? Like I was having a conversation with somebody about um, – just like the community on YouTube is so it's such a more like engaged and connected community where people genuinely I feel like people on TikTok I just keep scrolling like I'm not like really invested in their story I'm not really invested in their art I'm just going to like the next funny thing you know what I mean but I feel like there's YouTube creators that I watch and I'm like I'm waiting on, on a next video okay like I'm I'm waiting and like then when they be behind I'll be like okay let me like okay so it's out there living life like let me relax you know what I mean but it's it's real I feel like YouTube is definitely uh, a beautiful space um and Mariah was saying that I think it's good for exposure I'm definitely more into scrolling than actually posting though yeah and sometimes we have to have that balance of um like creating over consumption you know but speaking of Mariah. Mariah is going to be next. I feel like that's a perfect segue into um, the next creator and patron who's been uh, contributing to my work. And if I can help contribute as well, then that would be incredible. So let's go on over to um, Mariah. Let's see. We got her Instagram up. Let's start sharing this tab. Let me make sure that y'all can see Mariah. Yes, you can. Okay. Great. Y'all, let's talk about it. Okay, Mariah is a mixed media artist. Her IG, y'all, is inhale.arts with a Z. Okay, so like y'all check her out. Uh, she's working with quite a bit. So we got watercolor, acrylics, coffee art. Oh, that's probably really fun. Let me zoom me out a little bit. Let me click that. Boom, so y'all can see. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so she is working with coffee as well, which I think is so fun. I think that is, that's so cool. Um, Y'all like the watercolor work. Oh, what are these, Mariah? Let's see. Okay. Okay. Keychains and car air fresheners. You're kidding. Wait, so <laughs> look, look, Rich Dot IG commented, car air, air fresheners. That's genius, Mariah. Like, hold on, y'all. And I feel like what's so dope about us even like sharing this, like other artists are like getting ideas, getting inspired. Like, this is why I just love artists. Like, we are just so creative. This is incredible, Mariah. This is also very beautiful work. Oh my, look at her eyes. Look at the lips. You are truly doing some incredible work. Oh my God. They're like, they're such a vibe too. And I really love how you have identified your style. You know, you have, you have a unique style that really speaks to what you're doing. And I think that, I think that a lot of artists are looking for their style and trying to figure out what, what they want to do. And what I like to say is just like, keep experimenting, you know, but then when you're like, when you're experimenting, but then like when you find yourself going back to some of these sort of similar themes, you know, like I'm, I'm seeing for you, you have the theme where, you know, we have in like, um, different symbols on the on the cheeks right so with her she has the circles but right here she has the hearts you know but and then like in these you have that similar style that's going on just so whimsical fun free i'm feeling it i'm feeling it okay you out here in nature yes okay look see and i like i love that we're all tree huggers over here okay look gang gang <laughs> Where my nature girls at? You said you spent yesterday hanging out at the falls. Yes, you said it's freezing cold. I bet, man, them, them waterfalls be cold. They be they be cute for the gram, though, no, ain't it? Look, they be cute, but it be like, let me let me dry off and stop playing. Oh my god, your work is so beautiful. Look at this, the mood for real. Oh, and this is coffee. Let us know about it. Let us know, Mariah. Let me pull back up Streamyard. Tell us more here in the chat. Yes, Nalisha is saying, "Yay, a color watercolor vibes." My pleasure, true. Right? Okay, right, Jessica. She said it's so cool. Tam is letting know very cool as well. Man, for real. Yes, Mariah saying that you you definitely inspired by nature. Super dope. Let me see um what else we had over here. Wow, just truly truly loving what you got going on. 
Um, did you also say where we at? We got your email. We got your gram. Okay, how you how you feeling, Mariah? Are you thinking about YouTube as well? Hold on, let me not try to convince everybody to start a YouTube channel. This is y'all life, okay? Like y'all can totally do whatever y'all want to do, but I know it's really fun um, finding other like YouTube creators. So like that would be super dope, especially if like you if you love nature. I could see like videos of you being out in nature, but of course, I, let me not try to put more on y'all workload. <laughs> you know. Um, and let's see, you said that uh, you just really enjoy painting with coffee. It's just the same consistency as watercolor. That is so cool. And it probably smells nice too, like having that sensory experience of, you know, like painting with the coffee, smelling it and drinking coffee too. Look, I got my my coffee over here in my little elephant uh, <laughs> mug. That is awesome. Um, Shay was saying, girl, I'm about... I'm about to fall all the way out with all this creativity. Yes, love is so dope. Yeah, look, Tam was like, right? Okay, I feel it. I, I feel it, y'all. I feel like this is so fun because we kind of like fueling each other's creativity and getting inspired on the journey. And like, oh, this is so great. This is so great. Uh, Mariah was saying, no YouTube plans in the near future. And it does smell so good for months. Oh, I bet. Oh, man. I wonder, does the color change over time? You know, like whenever you're painting with like organic materials, like does it get darker? Does it get lighter? Kind of kind of curious about that. But that is super duper cool. Super duper cool. Yeah, Danielle was saying that she loves that. She loves coffee as well. Super dope. Yes, no pressure at all. You don't have to, you don't have to um <laughs> start a YouTube channel. Look at me. I'm like, are you starting a YouTube channel? Like, girl, everybody ain't obsessed with YouTube the way you are. Simmer down. Simmer down. No, it's fine. Jobina, we got Jobina next, y'all. Oh my God. Okay, let's share um, Jobina's. Y'all, now Jobina is starting a YouTube channel as well. Let's go over here first to her Instagram. So Jobina is a teacher, y'all. She's a mixed media artist and an art teacher. Like, first of all, I feel like art teachers change lives, okay? Art teachers are so important. And my art teacher inspired me so much and like motivated me to create and just gave me so much beautiful affirmation on my creative journey. And I'm actually gonna be speaking to the high school students um, at my school, like in the next couple coming weeks. I should share this. Let me see if I can share this with y'all. Pretty much art teachers are absolutely amazing. Okay. Jobina is an art teacher and she is starting her YouTube journey. And look, and y'all can see on her YouTube, she just said that she has a new YouTube video that is live at the link in her bio. Let's browse a little bit more on her um, channel. So it's well on her, on her Instagram. So it sees she's like doing different pop-ups around the city. Jobina, what um, city are you in as well? I can't remember. Yes, y'all, she got journals too. And y'all know we love a good journal. Where was this? Is it Texas? I think so. Let me see if you say anything here in the chat. Let me know. Let me know. Yes, look at this. Y'all, so she be having her table set up out in the streets, selling her work with the people. Oh, this looks so fun. Look at this Africa. Oh my God, that's incredible. So baby, I love that. That's like the that's like the best feeling. And there is her TikTok as well. Okay. I love that, Jobina. Like repurposing content too. Like it's real out here. And I know it can feel like a lot. It can feel overwhelming as artists, like trying to trying to do all the things. And so sometimes it's like, yeah, just like just just repurpose it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to remind myself of that as well. You know, and so and like and Jobina is sharing encouraging words as well because the self doubt, the self doubt and overthinking, like oh my god, we talk about that all the time on the create days. And Jobina just be there sharing like like sharing love and light, but also being real too. Like y'all, I'm not in the mood, <laughs> but I know that if I come, like this is gonna be encouraging and inspiring for me. And I know for it for me, even when I'm tired, I sometimes I don't feel like going to the create days, but I know every time I come, y'all energy is just gonna fuel me. So I just love this community that that we build it and Jobina I love how you like got all the different elements for your art too so y'all I know I had some of some of the journals up on, on my website there's like I know like people love journals okay like if you love a good journal y'all better holler at Jobina okay she has the journals here in all the different styles and I truly do love these type of journals too with the um with the coils because you can fold it all the way back and lay it flat 
yeah, y'all definitely hop over here. We got the mug too. Yes, yes. Get your visions mug. Oh, I love it. It's a vision. I'm kind of moving around my camera. Super dope. Super. Look, you can have the full set. You can have the full set. Jobina, now is this, um, what is this here? So we, we got the mug, the journal, and is this like a card with it? Or tell me more about here. Is this like a mini print that comes with it? That's so cool. That's so cool. Let us let us know in the chat. Because y'all know everybody keep telling me to make tarot cards. <laughs> I'm like, I might. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Jobina, y'all, is in Dallas, Texas. Anybody else here in, from Texas? We got Michigan's in the house. Hey, Lula Bell. Hey. Um, I'm from Chicago, so there we go. Midwest is here. We would always be driving up to Michigan. Yes. Yes, yeah, so Nalisha was saying that uh, you love time-lapse videos for art with AI now creeping into the art world. It's so refreshing to watch an artist create from start to finish. Made by humans, not tech. Oh, I love that. Can we start a made by humans hashtag? Like that's. Ooh, I love that. And honestly, like that is such a good point, Nalisha. Like when it comes down to, you know, the AI world. Um, yes, we're both freezing. Okay. <laughs> Look, I know. Is it is it cold in Michigan right now? I, I bet. I know. Y'all, global warming is real though. Like my mom was just telling me it was kind of warm the other day. But anywho, um, y'all, I was thinking about making a whole video about the whole AI art scene. I'm curious. Like, let me know in the chat where, how y'all feeling about the AI art. But I feel like we have such an opportunity as artists to, I'm going to say this, romanticize our process. You know, like, you know, like the little trend was like, ro like romanticized life and all that. But pretty much, and people was feeling different type of ways about that trend. But I think that there's just something beautiful about the creative process in itself. Like that cannot be replicated. So I totally agree with what Nalisha is saying that as AI is starting to creep up, it's like, it can't, it can't touch us as real human beings sharing our process that this is genuinely made by a person. And this is how long it took. This is how much energy that actually went into it. So yeah, y'all like lean, lean into sharing your process, like letting people know that you are a real human being out here making real art and on the journey of, um, trying to have, trying to have your work be, be sustainable, you know? So it's like, Hey, shop my art. <laughs> you know what I mean? Be like, hashtag made by humans, shop my art. It's real out here, you know? Let me see what y'all saying here in the chat. Yes, right, Pamela? Right, because we be on the create dates. Uh, Pamela is, is also a, a patron as well, a dear supporter. And so we be in the create dates. And so, uh, yeah, she said it's perfect to now be able to match the face with the art. Yes, create date connections. Love it. Hey, Aaliyah, welcome. Aaliyah is also one of the patrons as well. You're also an artist too, right? Let, a, let us know in the chat. Let us know. Hashtag made by humans, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, y'all should definitely ch uh, ch connect. Oh, Aaliyah. Okay. Oh, you're in Dallas. Okay, nice. But you're from Chicago too. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Um, and Joe Benny, you said that's a journal blank sketchbook. Yeah, but I, I had saw like a little card. Where is, can I see? It was like a, a little card. Maybe was that just like a little thank you card that was coming with the order? Let me know. Um, you said you was too shook shook by the matrix to support the AI agenda. Man, the matrix, y'all, we living in a matrix. It's it's so real. It's so real. Yeah, it's so real. Uh, Shay was saying that art is so versatile, so beautiful and unique, and so glad you are exposing us to so many artists. All right, too many, too many talented people who don't get the exposure they deserve. Oh my God, it's so true. It's so true. Y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all this, okay? I'm gonna I'm tell y'all this. And while I'm telling y'all this, I'm gonna pull up Jobina's um, YouTube channel because she just posted a video and like she ready y'all she's ready boom can y'all see her channel let me make sure you can see it over here on the thing yes you can let me minimize me boom there we go Jobina has um, she started her channel okay she has a welcome here and like y'all with I have um what is this called vidIQ I have like this plug-in in here that she, like shows you your analytics in real time and it also shows you uh like the video like views per hour so this is like a really good video for for jobina so it's like it's it's pretty much a 
trending video on her channel. And of course, that's definitely common whenever you just upload a video. Um, but this is this is awesome to see that she just posted this 12 hours ago and it already has 71, 71 views compared to a video two months ago only has 25. Like this, this is great, Jobina. This is really great. This is like definitely one of the videos that's already growing. Like this one had 53 views. This one had 25. So people are ready for you, girl. Okay. Get out there. Keep sharing. Keep, you know, keep sharing your, your creative process with the world. And just know it's going to keep ebbing and flowing. Look, you literally just got two more subscribers as I was clicking on. This is so awesome. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, she just had an art show, y'all. Just sharing what's going on in Dallas. Showing her process, doing an art supply haul. So, yeah, if you are an artist, uh, especially if you um, are an art teacher as well, and especially if you live in the Dallas region, y'all, connect with Jobina, okay? She got her channel here, and she has her um instagram page yeah i just i just showed that so this is just like super exciting oh my god totally agree shay yeah so we, ju we just try to make sure that the artists are getting um getting what they deserve you know hey nelly welcome welcome who is saying cool art okay yeah you said yes you do have cards okay cool cool yeah pamela was saying that minneapolis i can only describe the current conditions here as <laughs> ice ice pellets falling from the sky not ice pellets, man. <laughs> oh my God. Ooh, it's like, it's kind of, you know what's crazy? Because global warming is real. Like the tulips are starting to, excuse me, bud in the front yard. Like it's kind of warm here in Seattle. It's weird. Like I feel like the plants are confused. They're budded and it's February. I'm like, y'all slow down. You're going to get frost bit if we get like another frost, but it's kind of warm. Um, Going to get cozy and painted. Yes, yes. Okay, so Jermina said that you're documenting your art journey on YouTube. I'm serious about getting my portfolio done this year. Yes, document the journey. Put it up on, on YouTube. Get that work done. Build a portfolio. That is fantastic. Okay, yes, Danielle said, get it, Jermina. Woo, woo, woo. Yes, yes. And it's truly my pleasure. Like, tr it's truly my pleasure to do this. Um, so that is awesome. Oh, you said school is out. Okay. Oh, right, all right. Because what time is it now? It's one o'clock. So it's, yeah, it's probably what, three year time. So school just got out. You said you're the curator of the Student Black History Month show. Oh, wow. Okay. I have to leave in the building and, get, and go get set up. Of course, thank you so much for being here, Jobina. This was so great having you on the stream. And it was great to be able to share your work. Go, 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 go to the art show. Have fun. Have fun. That is so great. So yeah, y'all definitely check out Jobina's uh, channel. I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so proud of y'all. Okay. Let's see who else is up on the list. Definitely drop some questions there in the chat too. If y'all are curious, um, right, Leah, Jobina, Mariah, Nalisha, Danielle, uh, Jessica, Kanice. Hey, Kanice, are you still here with us? Let me let me know if you're still here in the building. Y'all, Kanice is over here doing some dynamic work, okay? Interior design, interior artist, world builder. Like, I mean, it's the sculptural elements for me. It is definitely the sculptural, the sculptural. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, yes, Kanice is here. Okay, let me go back to the thing. Okay, first of all, I love that you have in your bio like Denise, but with a K. So I was like, sis, just help me pronounce it. Okay, because I was like, because you got telekinesis. So I was like, is it like telekinesis? I was like, I was going to put that. But boom, you already had it. And my mother's middle name is Denise. So I love it. So y'all, we got Kanice in the house. And can we talk about the lots? Can we talk about the energy? Okay, it is it is giving black girl magic. It is giving Solange, okay? It's giving cranes in the sky. I love it. I love it. It's giving high fashion. It's giving fine art. And this is absolutely, like, look at this. Let's talk about this. Let's see what this is beautiful tell me tell me more tell me tell me more Kanice in the in the chat okay and and you also work with a lot um of fiber arts different like mixed media elements okay and I love the hashtags in here because that's helping me see that boom you are actually tell me more about where you are because I see you got New Orleans there and you got Atlanta so did you recently finish up this doing an artist residency let us know in the chat boom bam Yes, right. You see, you want to clarify the pronunciation. That's real. That's real. Thanks, Jobina. No problem at all. Now, of course, y'all only follow and subscribe if y'all gonna actually engage. Okay. Yes, Shay was saying this is so beautiful. Yes, the art is dope. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So you said it's made from banana fiber. Wow. That's like like 
literally banana like tell me more how, how are you making this this is so cool um and let's also pull up your website do 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 we got the online shop here we go i'm gonna share this so y'all can see she has here in her bio i'm loving the bio y'all and this is used with bio sites that's the plug there i think those are integrated with squarespace which is like super cool super cool i love this it's giving vibes so we click it on online shop. It is closed for now. That's okay, y'all. Join her newsletter so y'all can know when it launches, okay? So I, I love this too. And I'm a true component of doing like periodical launches just so that you can take a moment to pause and like get reinvigorated with your creativity and then also kind of give a pause for your community so that they can kind of reset and then so that they can get excited for the next launch. So we're going to go ahead, click home and um, yes, yeah, spatial therapy. Okay. It's giving, oh, sorry, y'all. If y'all get your headphones on, I just hit the mic. Um, yeah, so she's doing like home furnishings, installation art, and digital home and garden content. So that's going to be more on her YouTube channel. We definitely going to click on over there. Yeah, we got the blog here. She's showing us the process. She just fin finished up an art residency. This is so cool. Let's click on, um, okay, so this is if we want to get an interactive art installation, we can inquire there. Okay, no problem at all. Look, we got her services here. Look, y'all, look, if y'all looking for somebody to make you some home furniture, first of all, let's talk about this. This is dope as fuck. Like, <laughs> I be trying not to curse, but y'all, this is just, like, look, is it's so, is this like a waterfall feature? Man, this is stunning. I could see, I wonder, do you make stuff that's like big? That could like go in my backyard. Oh, we gotta talk, Kanice. Like for real. <laughs> look, like, look. We need to talk because I need a sculpture in my backyard. And I could see like this. Oh, wait. Oh my God. Y'all weren't even seeing what I was seeing. Girl, get your life together. Click on the things so the people can see. Share this tab. Okay, go back. There we go. There we go. Can y'all see what I'm seeing now? Okay, see, that's why I gotta check in. Y'all, okay, so wait, let me go back because I don't even think y'all saw what I was saying. There we go, spatial therapy. So this is her site here, yep. So she was saying that she does the home furnishings, installation art, digital home and garden content. We were talking about the art installations that was here in her blog, showing us the process. So I think she just finished up an art residency here, super dope. So I just clicked on services there just to get y'all back caught up to where I was looking. This is what I was saying is dope as fuck. Like, this is crazy. So it's like a water feature that's going on. I could see something large in my backyard okay so you said you build one of a kind photo backdrops interactive installations wow and distinctive sets this is so exciting i love how unique this is this is so beautiful it really is like girl come fix my life okay <laughs> look come fix my home <laughs> let me know this is real okay so i'm like i'm like for real like how does how does one okay so for a 60 minute session they can book you and this would help help clarify the needs and provide you with a prescription that can implement on your own pace i really love this y'all definitely check her out see what she's up to let me click on the youtube too because i know we got quite a few youtube followers um youtube lovers here so that's okay yes kinesis is gonna be getting back in there right this this your motivation to get back in there here we go. Share this tab. Let's see if y'all can see what I'm seeing. Boom. Yes. Okay. So she is sharing on her YouTube channel, Modern Home Decor and Thrift Halls, DIY Live. See, I've been wanting to do something like that. You know, I've been really thinking about that. The DIY water found. Wow. This is so cool. Okay. Okay. No worries. I think this will be awesome to share like your process and like what you up to. Right? Look, Taylor was like, that's so cool. The emojis, the emojis. That's so dope. That's so dope. Um, Louise, I'm going I'm to come back to you, Louise, and make sure that we put Jobina's um, info there for you to go to her channel. Um, Lula was saying those sculptural elements are great. Yes, you love the tiger one that looks like bookends. Yeah, she's giving you some love there. Kanisa, okay, so you were letting me know that the fiber, okay, the fibers come directly from banana trees. 
that you cultivate. Wow. Let me know what city you're in. I saw your hashtags was New Orleans and Atlanta. Were, were you doing the art residencies out there? Let me know. Um, yeah, please come to the crib. Like, I just want a big ass, like, water feature sculpture in the backyard. So, Andy, that's my husband, y'all, if people don't know. But he be in the vlogs with me. So, if y'all watch the vlogs, then y'all y'all know Andy loves building stuff. And so, we, like, fixed the backyard. Now, I got the tub back there. That was in the Romanticize My Life video showing, like, the tub that's in the backyard. But, like, he's he wanted a pond in the backyard. So, he was going to, like, dig out um, a pond. Okay, let me know. You said that it's you still here, but it's frozen. Okay. Let me know. Am I glitchy y'all? Can y'all see me? Am I still good? So like he wanted to build a pond. So he was thinking about like doing a pond in the backyard. Right. And having like some sort of water feature that's like dripping into the pond. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know. And see, but this is why like Kanice can help me with that. Cause see, she does the like interior design, installation, art, gardening, a vibe aesthetic, you know? So I feel like, yes, you could definitely, um, that okay you see the vision okay okay yes i would love that please please right Danielle, yeah, all the creativity is real out here no problem it's frozen for me too oh man okay let me know let me know okay how y'all doing testing testing how y'all doing are, are y'all still here with me you frozen sis it's glitchy ah i'm here i'm here and is it still glitchy, y'all? Testing, 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 testing. Frozen. Ugh. The internet's trying to hang, trying not to have me win over here. All right, y'all. Hang tight. Hang tight. Hear you, but screen frozen. Okay, cool. Got you. Thanks for letting me know, y'all. Keep it, keep it going in the chat. Let me. Let me know. I'm going to try to. So I was actually on my. Um, we can hear you, but frozen. OK, great. <laughs> oh, my God. It loves freezing me at the wrong times, y'all. Um, Can hear you frozen, though. OK, cool. Let me know. Let me know. Can I still have I am I back Am I back? And my back unfrozen. Testing, testing. This will be the day when we. Let me know. Let me know. Testing, testing. How we doing? We back in action. Okay, Shay said back in action. Hey, we back. We see you. You back. Hey, visuals back. Okay, boom. Got y'all. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Okay, so um, yeah, I was saying that, like, I hate when a screen be frozen because my face is so dramatic that it be, like, freezing me at the wrong time. <laughs> like, my face be doing something crazy. So, oof, yeah, not not the biggest fan of frozen face. Hey, Candy, welcome, welcome. How's it going? Um, Yeah, we was just, look, shining the love and the light on, on Kanice over here. She's doing the incredible installation art and some really cool things. And so... Yeah, we're going we gonna to get you back on the twos. But y'all, um, I think the website is definitely the, the best place to go uh, to connect with her and definitely Instagram. So we can head on back to her Instagram here. Share this tab instead. So yes, y'all, her Instagram is telekinesis, but spelled that way. Y'all can see it here on the screen. So, yes, definitely check out what she's up to. Man, so cool. Just so cool. Really doing incredible, incredible work. Man, I just love y'all. Like, for real, for real. Like, from the from the deepest part of my soul, okay? <laughs> like, man, y'all are just so incredibly talented and, like, just truly keeps me inspired on the journey as well. And so, um, we got Talia in the house. Hey, hey, welcome. Hey, hey. Oh, so sweet. Y'all are so great. Okay, y'all, pretty much what we were doing, I was featuring some of my um, some of my supporters over there on Patreon because a lot of the people who are contributing to my creativity are also creators as well. And I just wanted to take a moment to highlight them uh, while also celebrating my two-year anniversary of being on YouTube. We are just at about 
7K subscribers. And I know that this is only the beginning. And as I'm on this journey, I'm like, what do I want to build besides just a number? And for me, it was like definitely building community. So I think that this is um, this is so great. Right? Right? Isn't that cool? How'd you get to play on the name? That's super cool. Truly, truly my pleasure. So y'all, yeah, I'm still I'm still down to hang out a little bit. Let's vibe out. If y'all have any questions um, about social media, about YouTube, um, really just in, like really just anything at all. I kind of just wanted this to be a segment. Um, I called this creator shout out slash Q&A. And the other thing in the title was sure the goal is YouTube growth, but let's but let's build community in the process. And so um, I'll tell y'all one of my like really one of my big dreams is to own multiple warehouses all around the world where artists can rent out studio space. So I like when I think about one of my dreams, it's about having like literally 12 different locations where artists from all over the world can rent out space so that they can pursue their creativity. And for me, the reason why that's important is because having a studio space completely transformed my practice in such a beautiful way. And it provided this delineation between home and work, where when I went to the studio, I was able to like seriously dive into my work. And I think that was also the shift that allowed me to to take my craft more seriously, to really start operating it like a business and to create work that was, that I just really couldn't do in my living room. Like this Taurus painting, you see, she's, <laughs> we, we'll talk about the house and a whole other thing, but clearly I love working on a large scale and I just couldn't do that at home. And so having a studio space was huge for me. And um, yeah, so I would love to create spaces for artists to have studio spaces. And so that involves me getting competent with, finances, um, you know, property management, owning property, and also building a community of artists so that when I do have a giant warehouse with 40 different studios, I can be like, hey, y'all, here's the building, rent the space, space is now available for you. And I love that there is people all over, um, all over the world where we can have different campuses, like we can have one in New York with Danielle, we can have one in Dallas with Jobina, we can have one in Minneapolis near Pamela, okay? Uh, and of course, over here in Seattle. So Talia was saying, do you ever get like social media burnout? I'm there right now. You know, I do. I do. You know, and what I do is just take a moment and step back, you know, and I think it's important to um, I think like burnout is a deep word that feels like like may maybe I get fatigue because the thing is, I try to step away before I reach burnout, because I feel like when you really reach burnout, it's kind of hard to climb out of that. You know, like you just be so exhausted and so just so like overwhelmed with it. And I think what can be dangerous for the creator is is apathy where where you just like, I don't care no more. Like, fuck this. You know what I mean? Like, where it's just like, I'm done. I'm like over it. I think it's important to still be invested in the process. Um, and I think that's the harms of burnout where you just like, man, I'm over it. You know what I mean? So just take take your moments, take your pause. And y'all, what I would really like, what I really want people to know, y'all get organized, get organized. And it's like, I'm saying this to y'all and I'm saying this to myself because it's like, y'all get the planners, the get, get the planally later notion. Um, even Facebook manager, you can plan, you plan your posts and schedule it out. You know what I mean? So y'all like do the, do the damn thing. Um, yeah, Shay, you were saying this is your first live viewing. Okay, dope, dope. Oh, good. So, so glad you loved it. I will definitely be doing more of these. Um, I just streamed the other day. I didn't even plan on doing that stream, but my, my shop was opening, y'all. Um, So actually, I just opened a new shop myself. So uh, you all can check out my shop, which is shop.com shop.aohamer.com. Um, yeah, got prints, clutches, all the fun stuff. But I just did a live stream then, just two days ago. So if you want to check that out, um, then you could definitely do that. Yeah, you said you have to work in two hours. So you have to skedaddle. No problem. Yes, look, have a great day at work. Wishing you, look, y'all, Shay said she wishing us continued success on the journey in the endeavor endeavors, okay? I think, Shay, you got a channel as well too, right? So y'all definitely look, check her out. She's Shay. Check her out over, over there on YouTube. Um, totally, right, Danielle? Yeah, you said, yeah, having space is so important. I'm here for this dream. Yeah, look, and you are help making it possible, for real. Like, being a patron, I think that is, that's awesome. Hey, good girl, Williams. You said any tips when it comes to doing uh, portraits with acrylics? I think be fearless. 
just like just just be fearless. I think what's so awesome about acrylics is that you you can layer, you can paint over it. Now it's different from watercolors and oils, right? I think you have to be a little bit more strategic in the planning process because you can't layer in the same way you can layer with acrylic. So when it comes down to acrylic portraits, like just just be fearless in the creative process. Um, but also like study faces, y'all. I have a I have a figure drawing. It's in the studio. I have a figure drawing book of like different portraits and like it shows the face at different angles, different light, uh, different positions, you know. So when it comes down to portraits, I would say practice as well. Just keep practicing, keep practicing. But specifically, my tip for acrylic painters in the portrait process um, is to is to truly like do it fearlessly. I think that sometimes whenever we're painting, we're like, Ooh, I don't want to, Ooh, I don't, I don't want to mess it up. And ooh, da, 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 like acrylics. That's why I love acrylics because if you want to paint over that whole thing and start over, you can completely start over. So that's literally going to be my tip. Paint fearlessly and practice. Just keep, just keep practicing. And then that whole, let's just, here's another little tip with that. Um, the whole fearless element is like, that's when you'll start to like develop your style. Because I think we kind of get into a point, like we aren't really impressed anymore when people can just like paint portraits well. I mean, like, just like, that's great, right? Like, it, of course, I know anybody can't pay por pay it. Anybody can't paint portraits, but what I'm saying is like as the AI art world is expanding, it's not even about something being like, oh, super pr proportional now. Like if you want that, you could take a photo. You know what I mean? I think what we really need to lean into as artists is finding your unique style. You know what I mean? It's like when you try to paint a portrait of me, don't try to make it look exactly like me. You know what I mean? Like here's the opportunity for you to do something completely different that nothing can replicate. Even these AI, these AI bots, you know what I mean? So yeah. Um, trying to stay away from from being over it. Yeah. Okay, you said ta lay ya. Ta ta leia. Ta leia. Thank you. Thank you for helping me pronounce it too. Let me know if I'm saying it right. Ta leia. Ta leia. Yes. Yeah, don't don't get over it. Don't get over it. Like, yeah, making sure that you still still staying committed to the process is great. Yes, my pleasure, Shay. We got you. Hey, we got Lily in the house. Hey, Lily. Y'all, Lily is one of my patrons as well. Um, you said, what inspirations did you bring back from Jamaica that we can hope to see in the future work? Oh, my God. First of all, I love you, too. Oh, that's so exciting. I love that question. Jamaica was so fun for me. Let me tell y'all about island, island life. Therefore, like when people say island time, island time is real. OK, if you want to go somewhere, get somewhere, order food like it takes double as long as you think. And I mean, I already kind of felt that experience when I went to Ghana. Like when I went to Ghana, they were on a completely different time. I feel like in America, there's so much urgency. You know, we have so much like, oh, we got to get this and do that. And what I think that you all can look for in my future work for Jamaica was just just taking my time, you know? And I think that we get frustrated when people are slow doing something like, oh, island time is taking forever for this. But there's also, but they also just had such a joy. You know what I mean? It was, it was just such a joy and such a peace. And I'm like, you know what? That's beautiful. Like, like where are we rushing to? What's the rush, <laughs> you know? So in my creative process, um, I feel like Jamaica inspired me to slow down. I was just looking at the palm trees. I was listening to the water and the beach. And, you know, y'all probably saw the clip of me and Annie just looking up at the stars. And so when I think about where I want to go and what I want to do, I really just want to like enjoy life and take my time in the creative process. And especially for my work, realizing that, you know, I'm I'm already who I want to be. You know what I mean? I think sometimes we have in our mind like, oh, well, like once I make it or like once I, you know, once I get this residency or get this project or like once Beyonce is one of my collectors or like once I get on, you know what I mean? There is I guess there is an on per se, but you're going to keep moving that needle. And I think about like for my creative process, if my five year old, like my five year previous self saw what I'm doing now, she would think that I'm on. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm on TV. I've done interviews. I've done a TED talk. I've had my my work every like everywhere I could think of, you know, and but I'm still like mm, there's still more, you know. And so now I realize that there is nowhere to go. There is no rush. Just take your time on this journey and enjoy the process. And so now that I feel like I want to take my time, I'm excited to see 
what sort of creative project comes up from my peaceful state. You know what I mean? So hopefully that um, answers your question, Lily. And thank you for asking that. And if y'all missed the Jamaica vlog, make sure y'all check that out. Uh, Jessica has a question here. Totally. Yeah, no, this is a great question. You said, do I have any videos on the process for large murals? Just curious how you learn to scale up an image proportionally. A large mural is something that I've always been interested in creating. I don't have a video um, on my channel about that. But when it comes down to large and like scaling something up, use a projector use a projector you know like people like getting on this whole like oh well i don't want to use a projector that's like tracing whatever when it comes down to when somebody's hiring you to do a mural <laughs> that is like thousands of thousands of dollars especially if you travel into to a, to a new location that's not really the time that you want to be experimenting you know like whenever we're, we're in our studio you know we paint and then we stepping back from it and we're like mm, you know doing the whole you know taking your whole time with the process when it comes down to a mural, and especially when you are on like lifts, so I've done murals where I'm on a scissor lift, where I'm on scaffolds, you can't step back. You know what I mean? So it's like you gotta, you gotta pretty much put that image up there and have it done, especially if you're trying to meet a deadline. So what I do for large scale murals, I do use projectors. And that has been a game changer for me in my in my process. Now, I haven't done that with with all murals. Um, some of my previous some of my ones like in my early career, I didn't use a projector, but it was because I just didn't know. I just didn't know that that I should use a projector that I could use a projector, you know, you know, we have the, all these things in the art world like, oh, well, if you're a real artist, you should do da, 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 da. Yeah, no. It, I'm like, for people who for people who say shit like that, it's like you clearly have never painted a giant mural on a 130-foot wall uh 15 feet in the air. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you, you clearly don't, you not all you not up on game. Okay. Hella professional muralists are using projectors. Period point blank. Period point blank. So hopefully that helps you out, Jessica. Um, yeah. You said that, uh, Pamela, you said you're going to get all of my prints frame. Looking at the painting behind you is making the decision for me. Go. Yes. Go, baby. Yes. Look, we in the, okay. If y'all have been seeing my different live streams, I've been in a different room. So we have like four, we have a four bedroom house. Technically it's three bedroom and a bonus room. My office has been in every single room okay i'm trying to feel out where i want to be so this is technically our guest room and i'm trying to move it around if y'all see this is where i record the blogcast episodes the um when i'm recording on the audio i sit here in this chair and record and so yeah i'm still trying to figure it out pretty much taurus is going to be up on this wall but we gotta we gotta move some stuff around glad you vibing with the goal pamela um, so you were saying, what's your biggest tangible achievement as an artist so far? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I would say definitely having my work up at the Climate Pledge Arena in Seattle. That was my biggest, that, that was my biggest money earned from a painting. And it was also like the biggest project. So pretty much, um, in Seattle, there's there was a building called the Key Arena, and that's where they would do the basketball games, concerts, like one of the biggest arena, one of the biggest arenas in Seattle. So um, they renamed that building and they call it the Climate Pledge Arena. And it went through this big major renovation. And that's where the Seattle Storm uh, plays. That's where concerts were. Um, I think, yeah, actually Kendrick Lamar performed his tour there. So it's like, it's a huge arena. And um, a contact, uh, the company that contacted me was Symmetra Financial. They pretty much paid me to do a custom painting inside of their Symmetra club area that's in the arena. So pretty much this is like a VIP area in the arena where you have to buy like club seat tickets. So it's like, it's sort of a little, it's like the little Lux area of the arena one, I didn't really know this because I was telling people like, y'all go to the arena, see my art. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then people were going and they were like, girl, one, where is the painting? Two, I tried to go in. They wouldn't let me in. And I was like, oh, shit. I, I didn't realize it was literally like a VIP area, you know. But um, yeah, <laughs> it was it was just it was just really great. It was it's a historic building uh, that's now in Seattle. And so I feel like I was a part of history with that project. And it was also a piece that um, 
so I actually I'll kind of share some of the insights right of of the creative process. So whenever like whenever companies are commissioning you to do, especially corporate companies, right? When corporate companies are commissioning you to do a mural or a painting or like any sort of project, um, you have to submit proposals. Now sometimes they got they want you to change this or tweak this or like I get all sorts of stuff, y'all. I get like you know feedback like oh can you make her more racially ambiguous or can you and it just be like oh like it's just it just be eye roll for me right but when I submitted my pro- my proposal with Symmetra with the Symmetra Club they loved every single aspect of it like they didn't have me change a thing okay a thing and so I felt like it was such a dope project where I had so much creative freedom that made me so excited about the project. Like that's truly one of my favorite projects and milestone moments in my career. So um, thank you, Talaya. Thank you for asking that. And I hope that that answers your question. But yeah, like when you, when you're working on a big project, one and being paid very well, and you also get to paint what you want to paint where they aren't like, you know, like, oh, can you, oh, can her lips be small? Oh, can you, oh, her nails are too long or, oh, can we change out the bamboo earrings that, to urban, you know what I mean? Like they were like, girl, we are here for you. We're here for everything that you are and everything that you represent as a black woman. And it just, it just truly uh, fed my soul, truly fed my soul. My pleasure, Jessica. Yeah. And see, Danielle knows that, that it's, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Y'all are fantastic. Y'all are fantastic. So look, we've been on the live about an hour and 30. This has been great. And it has fed my soul. Um, I just want to check in. Are there any last questions before we wrap up in that process? Let me just say thank you to you all um, for being here. And if you missed any of the artists that I talked about, y'all, this isn't the link. I'm going to put the link. Let me see. For the people who are watching this on a replay, okay, I'm going to put the link to our artist directory um, below. Okay. And so pretty much, let me see if I can pull it up here. The people who are in my Patreon who are in the Nebula and Supernova tier, they are, um, and of course, this is all optional, right, y'all? So it's like, of course, you don't have to be an artist to join my my Patreon. Like, of course, if you're an art supporter who genuinely wants to support my work, thank you. You know, those are the people that I truly, truly do appreciate. Um But I also like to share the word about my patrons as well, especially if they are artists and if they're YouTubers and if they're trying to grow and build as much as I am. So I created a um, I created a um, directory that can be accessed by the public that's now on the YouTube that's now on my website. Let me see if I can pull it up. The link will be aohammer.com slash join. But for now, this is um this is what it is. Let me see. First of all, can y'all see this? Let me see if y'all can see this. Because I, I can't really see me. Where did the where did the stream yard live go? There it is. Okay. Let me pull me down. Great. So um, this is aohammer.com slash join. So I'm like, I just finished revising this website. So the mothership is pretty much our digital home to connect, share, and save. So pretty much my patrons get discount codes um, for my online shop. We have our Discord, which isn't like it's... Our, our Discord isn't as active as I would like it to be, but I'm also okay with that. You know what I mean? Like I want... I want of anything for our moments to connect to be like this during the live streams, during the create dates that we do every month via Zoom. And then the Discord is like where we can kind of just chat super quick. You know what I mean? But that's also a place that we have as well. Um, Yeah. But the Zoom, like y'all, the Zoom calls is truly where it's at. But let me go on over here to our community directory. So I'm still working on this, but these are some of our other creators who are a part of the Patreon community. Kaylee is here. Um, Kaylee has always been on our Create Days, and she's just such so much fun and just like great vibes, has incredible work. So um, she didn't submit her info, but I know that she would love for me to share her work because she's just like doing dope things. Okay, and this is this is public for you all to see where you all can see um, different artists if you look for other YouTubers, other folks, this is the place where you can go. So 
I'm going to be updating this. So we, we talked about Leah and Jobina. They're here as well. I'm going to be updating this because I know we had some new patrons join the community and I want to make sure that y'all info is on there. So if you are on the live stream and you are um, you like, hey, I, I kind of miss so and so like what's her info? You know, you all can find it at aohamer.com slash. Um, let me get the link to that. I'm going to put the link in for now. It's for now it's aohamer.com slash join. Um, but it's not live yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but by the time people watch this on the replay, maybe tomorrow, then that will be the link where you can, you can find that directory and more information, of course, about the Patreon. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you. Look, it's, it's truly my pleasure. It's truly my pleasure. Awesome. Y'all, well, I think I'm going to wrap up. This was absolutely fantastic. I had so much fun connecting with y'all and vibing. This will be available on the replay. This will stay up on my channel, okay? So if you weren't able to, um, for the folks who weren't able to make it, they can still be here. And, you know, the people who did submit their info, you are officially a part of the first creator shout out that's going to permanently be on my channel. So that's exciting. Um, so I hope this inspires all of you all to get to it. Keep sharing your work with the world. Get your website up today. Get your YouTube channel live and popping. You know, clean up the bios and the links and everything on your Instagram because I believe that 2023 is the year of the artist. And there's just so many tools at our disposal. We have no excuse at this point. Okay, we got we got no excuse. We gonna do the damn thing. Okay, love seeing y'all comments come in. Uh, blessings to you all as well. Blessings to you. Candy, my pleasure, Pamela. Yes, yes, you are more than welcome, Tan. Tam, I love seeing you, Tam. It's always great seeing you. My pleasure, Danielle. Awesome, right? Kenisa, I had so much fun too. Okay, y'all. Now, everybody who started a channel, now go edit. Okay, go edit your next video so we can all be live. And then the next time we see everybody, you know, their subscribers will be up and their videos will be live and popping. Yes, me too, Mariah. This was great seeing the other artists. My pleasure. Grace by Grace, so inspirational. Oh, it's my pleasure as well. Okay, hope you getting going with your channel too. Awesome. Okay, y'all, we gonna end it. I hope y'all have a great week. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.